Hi, this is Aaron at thinkbotlabs.com and welcome back. I'm going to skip around just a little bit and set up our death animation and menu for our player. In the animator, let's create a new parameter, bool, call it is dead, and let's drag the dead animation into the animator. We're going to set a transition from any state to dead. And then on the dead animation itself, go ahead and make sure that the loop time um, is unchecked because we just want it to play a single animation. Blit. Okay. And then on the transition from any state to dead, we're going to say that if we're dead, go ahead and play this animation. Okay, and let's go ahead and hop into our robot controller script. The only thing we need to do in here is on start, we need to make sure that the um, is dead is set to false just for a sanity check. So we're going to do a animation set bull. The name of this is is dead. I'm going to set this to false. And this, like I said, this is just a sanity check to um, to verify that this uh, boolean is. Not activated yet. All right, let's go into our player health. So the first thing we need to do in player health is get a reference to the animator. Go ahead, and go ahead and initialize it. And then in our updates function, we're going to see if the current health is less than or equal to zero. And if it is, we're going to uh, play the animation. So animation dot set bull is dead. And we're going to set that to true. So also what we want to do, if the player is dead, we don't want him to move at all. So we do that by, let's go ahead and add some curlies in here. So I have more than one line. I'm going to say get component, robot controller, dot enabled is equal to false. So this is going to stop all player movement. And this is going to play the animation. All right, that should be good. Let's go ahead and save these scripts and go back to our scene. And one more thing, go ahead and select the any state, transition to dead, go into the settings, and make sure it cannot transition to itself. Okay, let's play it. Taking damage, taking damage, and he died. And I can't move either. Good. So let's set up a uh, UI for this real quick. So under UI, let's create another empty game object, and we'll call this Death UI. And this is going to consume the whole screen. Let's go ahead and focus on this. Let's go ahead and stretch this out. Okay, inside the UI, let's add a background image. So UI image. Let's name this to BG image. And let's go ahead and set this a little bit larger than our UI, so it covers the whole screen, and let's change it to a black, and we're going to turn the alpha down, so it's just barely visible. That's pretty good. 
All right, so let's add some text and rename this to message. And the text, no escape for you. You died. All right, let's change our font to our Earth Orbiter. Let's change the color to white so it stands out. Center, and let's change this to bold. And let's make the font size a little bigger. So no escape for you, you died. Okay, you can grab it and make sure it's centered. And let's go ahead and stage a couple buttons in here. So UI, button, let's drag it down a little bit. And let's change the text to, to try again. Change our font, make sure it's bold black and then let's duplicate the button Put it down and call this quit so this is going to be our quit button and then our try again All right, so now in order to get this to show up when a player dies, let's go ahead and disable the death UI. Let's go back into the player health. And let's get a reference to that death UI. So in a serialized field, we'll call game object death UI. And then in the update, All we need to say here is death UI dot game object dot set active equals true. Actually, set active true. So enables the death UI. All right, that should be it. Let's save that and let's go back and play. All right, so taking damage. Oh, we didn't assign the variable, so let's go back to the robot, and we have the death UI. Go ahead and grab a death UI. And let's go back and play it. So just taking damage. And he dies. He falls. I can't move. And our death UI um, has been activated. For our try again and quit button, let's hold off until we uh, create a um, main menu. And we'll set that up in a game manager. So for the try again and quit buttons of our death UI, let's hold off on setting those up um, until we get our game manager built. Um, that way we can. Uh, wire those up uh, through that event. So, see you in the next video. Till then.